I have a poem here called The God Wit. This is dedicated to my partner, Jody Williams. I wrote it for her 50th birthday. The God Wit uh, is among a band of uh, shorebirds or waders um, that include the stints uh, and um, some other birds, many of which I name in the poem. The Godwit is especially remarkable here where I live in Australia on the East Coast because it flies every year of its life from Siberia to uh, New Zealand uh, or the Southeast Coast of Australia. That's a journey uh, of a very great distance. It's halfway around the world. They breed uh, up, up north in the summer in, in uh, Siberia and fly down sometimes without pause uh, to this very different place here uh, where we see them. So the poem is uh, using the bird because it stands for the resilience, the astonishing accomplishment of such a capacity to make home on the wing, uh, really, and um, just to travel so damn far and to be so hellishly cosmopolitan, like my partner, Jody. The Godwit. It's some words at the start from Raymond Chandler. Uh, which have regard to uh, Jody, I guess, in her physique. This is from Raymond Chandler's The Big Sleep. She was small and delicately put together, but she looked durable. The Godwit. They don't make birds like this anymore. Dunlins, red knots, sandalings, terns, summers in Siberia, autumns in Shandong. The months of early southern summer growing round enough in King George's mouth to fly the planet north again in March. Wind is not a concept they hold with very long. Birds born in sarongs, sandaled and thonged, lithe and way too slight, you'd say, to carry their many lives' belongings so lightly on their backs around the years. Denizens of the distance, citizens of the tide, turnstones, green shanks, stints and wimbrels, their homes a narrow corridor 8,000 miles, 10,000 light years long, a threshold we blithely furnish for ourselves, adepts of three elements, earth and water and air. They bear the fourth through every kind of gale and squall, a quiet fire burning low upon a hearth, which is their heart. And are they not, these wayfinders, the sort of free we swore we'd stay? And is it not our own lost way they find? So I met a girl like that one day along a shore, and they don't make many girls the way they made this woman anymore. Eyes like the tundra, smile like the steppe, her heart a mountain passage, her soul a silken tent. Give her a bill, some feathers, She's the godwit, you see, all a god can know, divine comedian, wise with words the skies read up and down the beaches of the earth, mirth the freight she traffics high and low. Even without rising, she flies you Finnish islands, strung with ice and lanterns in your sleep. Her territory, I notice, has crept happily inland, her flight paths now a great divide, and country where the clocks run long and trees moan low with ancient stars. A million miles of memory, it seems, will teach you how to hold each moment dear. A landing harder than you'd meant will teach you how to give and, giving freely, all the hope you'd learned to keep, earn you love as sweet as sleep and steady as the stars.